Uh, you said he talked about magic and... what? Domesticated zombies? He talked about a group of people who don't get infected. Don't, don't, Even if they're bitten. Don't delirious people will say anything. He was holding this map when we brought him in. Whoa. It, it, this looks like... A way out of Haran. Crane, we are running out of Antizin. We have to explore every possibility. We can't wait any longer. Stay away! Stay away! You don't understand. The mother... The mother... Lena, do you copy? Crane! Damn it! You're breaking up! Yeah, listen, your one-eyed delirious patient, he was telling the truth. There is a way out. Maybe what he said about people who don't turn is true. He died this morning, Kyle. The fever got him. You're on your own, I'm afraid. Lena? Lena! God, fucking mountains. What do you want? I need to talk to someone in charge. I'm from Haran. Oh, you a smuggler? You work for the crook, huh? Look, I, I don't know anything about any smuggling, pal. I'm here just... I need some help. As for Jasir, but understand this. If you steal anything, you lose your hands. Excuse me. I don't know anything. Look, could you just tell me where to find someone who does know something? Look for Jazir. He'll be inside the bar. Need something? Are you the one in charge? I need some help. Talk to Jazir. Hear 
me. I forbid it. Father, please. Can't we talk no, about this? No, no. End of discussion. Fine. Fine. Esky? Wait. Esky. I don't mean to interrupt. I'm looking for Jazir. I am Jazir. But if you want food, we have only bread. No, no, I, I don't need food. Listen, I'm from Haran, and I've come because I've heard that there are people here who are immune to the virus, that they don't turn, even if they get bitten. Oh. And who told you this? Uh, a dead man, I'm sorry to say. You might as well keep listening to him. I'll tell you no more than he. Fucking hell, why won't anybody help me? The virus is all over the city. People are dying. And yet, you still live. Take some bread, my friend, and go back to Haran. No one wants you here. I told you to leave us. Lena, this is Crane. Do you copy? Fucking wasteland. Hey, yeah, you, come here. Come on, come closer. I won't bite you. Don't worry, I ain't like the rest of these loonies. Yeah, I'm talking about you, you nut jobs. So you're not one of them? Why aren't they trying to run you off? Because I sell more shit than just bread. My name's Khan, by the way. Kyle Crane. Hey, you're from Haran, right? Bet you ran into my optically challenged buddy. You mean the guy with an eye missing? Yeah, that's the one. My boy, Kurt. How's he doing? Oh, he, uh... Yeah, he, he didn't make it. Well, that's a damn shame. But, can't say I'm surprised. Maybe you can help me. Kurt said the people out here are immune to the virus. You know anything about that? Uh, now that you mention it, I don't remember any of the locals actually turning. Fucking wackos. They're in a damn cult. Led by some woman they called the mother. Used to be just a harmless local tradition, you know? They weren't serious about it. Well, they're goddamn serious these days. Ever since the outbreak. They scribble symbols everywhere. Do these fucking rituals. I think they even pray to her. But what about this whole not turning thing? They on Antizen or what? Listen. I'm short a man now, and since I'm an entrepreneur, let's do business. Partner up, you and me. Buying anything, friend? Freaks. What kind of partnership you have in mind? Well, you need some information, and thanks to Kurt getting himself deceased, I need a driver with brains. I can show you something that might help you out, but we'll need to get some wheels first. You want a vehicle out here? Where am I supposed to find that? I'd look around the nearest farm, my were you. And hey, be discreet about it, all right? You're looking for Khan? He's gone. I guess they finally asked him to leave. Oh, asked him to leave, huh? And what, at gunpoint? And who's they? They finally did what my father should have done a long time ago. And it suddenly got really nice and quiet around here, didn't it? You didn't answer my question. Of course I didn't. You're here for the same reason he was. Same reason the bandits won't leave us alone. And we're supposed to trust you? There's got to be something I can do to convince you. You don't have to convince me. I don't care. Show everyone else you're here to give, not just to take. And I'm Eski, by the way. Kyle Crane, Eski. Can you give me some hints, at least? W w what do you guys need? I suppose I could help you out. 
Just remember, you'll have to return the favor one day. You got it. The groundwaters got polluted a while back. Imagine what would happen if you got our water running again. I assume there is a way to do this? Yes, there is. But it's in banded territory. Several men who volunteered to go there, well, they never came back. So I wouldn't recommend it. Unless you have a death wish. If you do, then just follow the pipeline. Thanks for the hint, Esky. Hey, but when you said they asked him to leave, you didn't... You didn't mean the people who live around here, right? No. These people never actually do anything. They couldn't get rid of Khan for months before. Why would they do it now? Still dodging the question. Still not sure if you deserve an answer. Yeah, but kicking someone out of the community just because he was... rude? Isn't that a little bit cruel? Could be. But there's only a tiny wall between us and a swarm of bandits and zombies and who knows what else. One man's big mouth could be enough to tear this place apart. And you're okay with that? And if he can't find shelter out there, he's a dead man. Oh, come on. You're from the city. You know people like Khan, don't you? They always find a way to survive. He'd barter with a corpse if it meant he'd get away from trouble. You're actually selling something out here? Water. Crystal clear. No diarrhea afterwards. Tastes as if an angel stepped on your tongue, huh? One gallon for ten pounds of food. We accept gold as well. Ten pounds of food for water? What, are you start charging for air, too? Oh, we got us a haggler. Look down there, punk. See that? That's Roscoe. We turn hagglers over to him. Still want to haggle, huh? Tell you about oh, Fuck you, asshole. So be it. All right, boys. <laughs> <laughs> Jazeer sent The only me. one left. Well, Eski did. I am Ali. You're one of the three who got lost? I got thrown to that... that beast. Okay, listen, Ali, this place has to be at least sort of operational. Otherwise, the bandits wouldn't have had any water. The bandits have water here, but there is none at the farm. Perhaps we can read that... All right. Here goes nothing. Cross your fingers. If we did that right, in a couple of minutes there'll be water at the farm again.
place was already flooded, so now what? We just we just wait? Yes. Now it should just be a matter of time. So we're good? We're better than good. I think you just saved all our asses. Get back to the farm. I'll tell Jasir you're all right. You know, for a stranger. Thank you, Kyle. I guess one man with a death wish can be a great help to those who just want to live in peace. I don't have a death wish. I just can't stand bullies. Well, in any case, you really did something spectacular for the people here. Try talking with my father now. I bet his tune will change. Thanks, Eski. No, thank you. Our wells have been polluted for the last month, and people were getting sicker and sicker. Maybe I was wrong about you, stranger. So, any chance you'll answer my question now? About that medicine? Follow me, please. Jazeer in Haran. We're running out of Antizen. I'm looking for anything that could save my friends. If you have anything... Yes, stranger, we do. We have our faith and our prayers to the Mother. Faith? Uh, look, I, I mean no disrespect, but you, you're telling me that prayers keep you from turning? That's your problem. You lack faith, just like the other outsiders. We believe in the Mother, and she protects us. We have no need of Antizen. Or whatever you said. Okay, okay, well, is there any way I could maybe speak with this mother? She is sacred. She speaks only with those known as the faceless. But maybe, maybe you could get them to notice you. If you do enough good for our community. At this point, I'll take anything. So what kind of good are you looking for? What, what needs to be done around here? You're serious about this? <laughs> All right, then. Me, I take care of this farm, and my friend Bilal keeps the gas station near town safe. Look around. You'll find more work than any one man could handle. 